Hello and welcome to this video. Today we got the Asus Vivibook D1402i. So let's get into it. Okay, so if we look at the specs, this is the color Ice Light Silver. The screen is an LCD 14 inch Full HD. And the CPU, it is an AMD R5. And the SSD is a 512GB. And the RAM is DDR4 8GB. And it also comes with Wi-Fi 6. It also comes with Windows 11 64-bit. Okay, so let's open this up then. First we get this little yeah, piece there. And then if we open this up we get the cord. Kind of big, so 90 watt it seems like. So this is quite, quite cool. And here we have the computer itself, Asus Vivobook. Nice, actually. And then we get some manuals as well. Yeah, all right. And there's nothing else in the package, as we can see. Okay, let's see the computer itself here then. Oh, I really like this color. I think it was ice blue, something. And I tested an Asus Vivebook uh, about a month back. And uh, the texture on the back feels pretty much the same. Although on the front, it is, yeah, a bit more metallic, a bit more al aluminium. So a little bit more premium feel. And this is also a little bit more expensive as well. So beware of that. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Okay, and we get this camera protector here as well. And let's do a keyboard test. Okay, I gotta say, it actually feels really nice. Feels really good. Uh, the tension we are, when you are pressing feels very good and uh, yeah just overall it feels really nice so the typing experience will be really great if you're writing a lot of things perfect so uh, yeah let's just start it up then and I'll be right back okay and the ports are 3.5 millimeter USB-C USB-A USB-A HDMI and the power and on the other side we only get a USB-A port and some indicators and yeah, a little space for the ventilation. Okay, so as we can see here, it's just supposed to be able to lay down flat. Uh, and it also comes with noise cancelling audio, very interesting. Fast and stable Wi-Fi, it comes with Wi-Fi 6. Physical webcam privacy shield, that is very nice. And also... Yeah, long key travel, and I also I really felt that when I tested the keyboard before. Okay, and while we're waiting, I would also like to mention that there is a fingerprint sensor, which you can use to open the device. Also, a little feature that is really nice to have in a computer. Okay, so now we're in the computer, and I've just started up, and so far it feels fast. It opens things quickly. It feels nice to navigate through this. Uh, so uh, yeah, but let's get into some tests now. Okay, so first off, let's test out the speakers. Okay, so right off the bat, the speakers, they aren't as good as I hoped. I think the speakers on the other Asus Vbook I uh, made a review on uh, was a little, bit, little bit better. Both of them had the Sonia Master or it's Sonic Sonic Master sound, but uh, yeah, I felt like the bass wasn't that good and the just loud loudness, the volume wasn't that great either, and the punch wasn't very good. Uh, but uh, the speaker wasn't too bad. I mean when you use bad speakers and you put them at maximum volume, normally the high tones just goes into your ear and it sounds really bad. But uh, here it was okay. 
so not too good, but not too bad either. So okay on the speakers. Okay, so now it's time for the screen test. Let's see how the colors and the sharpness look. This is supposed to be a full HD screen. It's LCD, so not OLED, but I think it will look great anyway. So let's see. Yeah, so the screen, it looks really, really good. The sharpness, it's great. It's really sharp. And also the colors, they look just stunning. I'm not comparing it right now to anything else. In the future, I will do a comparison. But just my first impression, it looks really good. And I'm really happy with the screen. So really good there. Let's test out the browsing experience. So let's see. Okay, that was fast. Is it smooth when you're scrolling? Yes. It's responsive and smooth also. Let's open up a... There we go. Yes, also pretty fast and the experience is smooth scrolling. Let's just test out going through the system. That opened fast. Downloading, we don't need that. And yeah. Okay, also downloading, but also opened very fast. Okay, so like the last time, the experience going through the device, it's really fast, smooth, and it feels great. So now we're testing out the camera, and it looks pretty good actually. It's sharp, and uh, yeah, it does the job. Of course, web uh, laptop cameras aren't that great, but uh, yeah, it's okay. Better than I expected at least. Okay, so these are just my first impressions of the laptop, but overall it felt really good. I'm going to make a more comparison video and a more testing video in the future, but overall the screen looks great. The sound isn't that good, but it's, also, but it's okay. It's better than a lot of other laptops, but obviously if you want to listen to a lot of music, this might not be the best device for that. The keyboard, it just feels really really good they have done a really good job there better than the last time and yeah the overall feel it feels really high premium uh, and just a nice home computer which looks the color is really great as well this sort of ice color and uh, yeah the trackpad also felt really good the just touch it felt high quality it felt like they had done a good job with that so uh, yeah Overall, there are all these neat little features like the camera, you can close there, the, the fingerprint sensor, and uh, yeah, just overall, it's a really good experience, and I do recommend this device. It's not too expensive, and uh, it's a good computer for everyone who wants to use this for normal usages, like writing, like browsing, like watching videos when you're home. So a really good uh, work computer. But obviously gaming is not it for this device, uh, it's not a gaming computer, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, bye.